if you look at HIV, yep, um, and you look at sort of the male gay community, yep, which has a massive devastating effect. What would be the cause of that? Then? Well, you'll note that HIV is also going right the way through the heterosexual community at the moment. So. So while it may, and, and nobody really knows where it began. In fact, there's a supposition that it began in animals like chimpanzees, isn't there? So, so, but the reality is that any disease that's related to sexual transmission always has the element of sexual shame involved. And unfortunately, many people in the gay community, as soon as they realize that they are gay, they have so much rage and uh, abuse projected at them from the environment that they go into almost this state, many of them, of fear of not feeling their own sexual shame as a result. And I don't feel they need to have any shame. The reality is they don't need it. But they, but because, well, there's a bushfire up here. Oh, wow. Quite a big fire, actually. Someone's probably burnt off and, and it's, it's got, got out of control, control probably. Yeah. So getting back to the gay community, what happens is that very many gay people from a very young age know that if they admit that they are gay, they admit, admit they are homosexual, that their families will disapprove of them, their friends will disapprove of them. They almost have this automatic feeling, many of them, of feeling sexually ashamed because they are attracted to the same gender and so forth. And these kind of feelings are the result of the projections of the world around them. Because from God's perspective, there's nothing wrong with feeling a same-sex attraction as long as it is engaged in harmony with love. But with the general community's opinion, which is very often religiously based and, uh, and so forth, there is this very strong opinion that uh, there are, are terrible things that have evolved with same-sex in sexual interaction. And they believe, the general community believes generally, because of their religious or other types of backgrounds, you know, uh, males feeling uh, like they are somehow emasculated by, you know, admitting that, uh, that, that their friend is a gay person or something like that. So there's generally a lot of rage and other kinds of emotions projected at a gay person from a very young age. So they grow up in amongst this environment of anger towards their own, gen their own sexuality. As a result, they absorb a lot of shame that is not theirs in the first place, but they absorb it. And then they don't allow the release of it. And, and then, of course, many times they act prom with promiscuity as well, which actually uh, adds to the problem because every time any person is promiscuous, there is going to be also an element of sexual shame involved in their behaviour. So when all of these things add together, there is a large amount of sexual shame. And these cause, um, in, in the per in, in specifically in the gay community, um, sexual illnesses related specifically to those kind of emotions. So the general community has sexual diseases, such as gonorrhea and other types of diseases, um, and those kind of diseases are also related to shame, but they're not related to the shame of being gay. They're related to other types of sexual shame. So every single sexual disease that a person can carry or catch is related at some point to sexual shame or their sexual behaviour. Yeah. Now, this is not saying that a... So, for example, a person who catches gonorrhea um, who's a heterosexual, it doesn't mean that they should be ashamed of their sexuality, that they should be ashamed of being a heterosexual. So, so for the same reason, a person who catches HIV and is, and, and is a gay man shouldn't be ashamed of himself being gay, and that's not the reason why he caught the disease. The reason why he caught the disease is because of the other sexual shame associated with his childhood, his upbringing, what was projected upon him that he hasn't, hasn't allowed himself to feel. And in fact, if he allows himself to feel it, there is a very high chance of him curing the disease without needing medication. Just like there is a high chance of a person with gonorrhea 
working through their sexual issues, a heterosexual person caught, who's caught gonorrhea have, can work through their sexual issues that have caused their gonorrhea and actually cure their gonorrhea using the same method. You know, it'll be different emotions that they have to go through though. That's the only issue.